Hi guys, and welcome to the Rainbow Six Replays YouTube channel. Today we want to present a video replay of the match highlights between Team Sonix and Wildcard during the North America League 2024 Stage 2. Don't forget to subscribe and put a like. Enjoy. The hands of Spiker as Ambi gets quite aggressive on stairs, and he's done and dusted. It's okay, I think, to lose Ambi there. He wanted to play kind of aggressive, and he did get like 95 damage, 105 off of Spiker, so he still did pretty decent. There are some C4s that can come out and maybe deal some damage, and just like that, man count does get equalized from Canadian. In the final minute. Rare to see Thatcher on Clubhouse these days, but I assume that we will see some meta swaps as we've got Striker and Sentry in the game. The newest operator that has made some waves online is not in just yet because we're actually playing on the same patch we were playing on three months ago. Assault onto the church wall. As there go the Selma charges and Wildcard will wait for the call to break in through Moto. Bosco thinking otherwise of it as the flames ring out in front of him. It's a flash in hand. Tries to shoulder peek. Doesn't get a good angle. Finally sees Canadian. It's all up to Rexon and Surf as they equalize. Great work from Rexon, the longtime veteran of Sonics. It's all up to Surf now against Can. Somebody who uh, maybe should be playing on a better team, who, you know, maybe is better than uh, the, the results that he's gotten on Wildcard. He had a 1.3 in through gym jacuzzi wall i didn't catch if they'd open that or not they've used a lot of hard breach so i imagine it has been breached but yeah wild card not a lot of numbers they got a lot of grim beast they're trying to pop and i think they're going to drop in right about now the surf continues to see targets as now kansan will be next in line kansan takes down canadian surf dies to bay wild card hitting their marks and yet sonics are keeping it close grixer now maybe out of position not quite in the bomb site, waiting for the bees to go. Kansan is not far removed. There goes a Nitro Cell. Grixer's position given away. Enough damage to do to Kansan. As Grixer now pops that castle barricade and will have to go for the wraparound. Bosco with Diffuser in hand, pulling it off. Spiker on low HP. Grixer will need to clutch. He himself not fully healed. The flash goes out and a reposition from Grixer playing against the time. Keep in mind, we saw those red marks. There's intel in there that Sonics will be able to play off of. One kill on to Bosco. It was Spiker now who's at low HP. Grixer losing quite a bit himself, and Spiker is not far off, backing him up on red stairs. They're using Capital Bolts on him. I mean, usually you'd want to save these Capital Firebolts for the Raptors player. Of course, Rexton still existing up there as well. I, I say that. He does get taken down. Can they get another one too? With again, Ambi facing a lot of pressure here. He's just buying so much time. Surf with not just one, but two. Wildcard had gotten that opening pick, but it doesn't matter because Sonics take the upper hand. Kansas is bleeding out as well. So while the score line says a 4v3, it's a 4v2 until we see the res come in. Medium lurking down below. Two floors removed from the bomb site, and there's a flank drone situated on blue. Canadian will struggle with that. Logic bomb rings out with 45 seconds left. Kansas on borrowed time. Diffuser in the hands of Bay himself will now head towards the breach final 30 seconds shotgun of spiff on the demos positioned right now by lounge down blue there goes one of the trackers it's ambi ambi's the focus yet again right now all of these players are so far spread out shotgun in hand for the demos of spiff losing the engagement no he wins it but grixer ends up trading him right off now the daunting task is to get through what a shot from bay as he punishes this sonics team running out of time diffuser will need to be planted by bay cans and we'll have to watch but look at who's down below it's canadian on that main stairs and then take out the church wall their big stumbling block was to get through moto into church and the big culprit for that was those goyo canisters obviously you can see from the sonics lineup no goyo to be had Surf eliminating Bosco means that Sonics will get their very first opening pick of this series. And honestly, on defense, that's great. You've now lost what appears to be Bosco's Thermite. You've only got one hard breach left. And no gadgetry remains for the ace. This could be particularly damning. It's small error by Grixer as Bay finds that kill. No hard breach needed. Diffuser going down. Is that a Nitro Cell that gets tossed out? Another one will go! It claims its target, but not before the Diffuser can go down, and Bay gets two kills for his trouble. Kansan and Bay is the last two remaining players. Rexon and Canadian trying to fight their way out of their positions. The big trouble for Bay. Two of those kills will be found upstairs. Kansan eliminating Rexon. Canadian, last one standing. 
Nice pick by Canadian to eliminate Kansan. What experience can he use to try and get something going with this diffuser? Long arm through the wall, potentially, and Canadian is vulnerable to this position. They seize him, and there you go. What a huge... With 30 seconds to go, that only means 10 seconds to pull off and execute. Main obstacle right now for Wildcard is to remove the clash that presents herself inside of Logistics, and you got two players doing just that. Grixer and Rexon fall by the wayside. So they've been able to isolate these remaining players, and my god, Spiff is putting on a clinic. Bay is up there as well. It's all up to Canadian, who had been isolated himself downstairs, to now retake... And Spiff gets the job done. Demo shotgun working wonder. Kansan in clear sight, and not just that, but the buck as well. It's a bit of an oversight from Wildcard. These don't look like particularly hidden cams by any means. Even with that, you can lead a horse to water, but something something drink because Ambi has all that information in the world and still loses the gunfight. Two cameras, three players from Wildcard, and yet Sonic still struggle with that pick. That's just an unfortunate gun duel, and Ambi is a great aimer, but you don't make it to the NAL being unable to aim. Canadian now tussling from down below. He's finished off. He had very limited HP. It's Spiff to get the kill. And just like that, we have about 40 seconds left. Wild card with the numbers advantage. They've lost Bay, who's been quite excellent with seven kills, tied with Kans and leading the lobby at the moment. Surf's got a nice angle playing by the boxes. Waiting for the drop. There's one player who goes. Grix are trying to do some damage from that same position, but these kills are evading them, at least for the time being. Surf will get a bit more active with Rexon. You have to be concerned with what's over towards main stairs. Oh my goodness! Rexon catches Spiff looking the wrong way. Kansan drops, and it's all up to Spiker to follow suit. He will meet the same demise as Kansan did, and Sonic's Goyo canisters already it will buy some time for the defenders and also give them more importantly information because you know that somebody is coming from that particular part of the map hands it on the jump out catches ambi looking in the wrong direction and just like that wild card is the first pick a second will follow i can set the pace by jumping out i can find these aggressive swings and they did just that but sonic's 3v5 despite that they're in the site and Rexon and Grixer will both do some serious damage. Blitz a Canadian looking to take up some space. One target over towards Blue. This toxic gas from Bosco will linger right next to him. Down goes Grixer. And amidst that gas, Canadian trying his best for a pick. Can't find it right now. Rexon not far removed to give him some support. You gotta think that the main focal point for Wildcard will be this Blitz. As now Canadian looks to pursue, but he takes some damage down to 2 HP. Still toiling around this door. Rexon drops, Canadian pulls out the sidearm. Not much you can do. One positive player on this entire team at the moment is Rexon. Everybody else on Sonics, their numbers are underwater. Surf, well, I guess he rides that wave to positivity, but not same can't be said for Wildcard. In terms of the kill department, Wildcard very much leading the way. Just yeah, past the halfway point of the round. Positioning as well, I mean, it doesn't look like you're going to get rafters easily. You've wasted both Capital Bolts now. Spiker's taken zero damage. Construction maybe is an option, but it looks like all they have is Breach, and they're going for the push. Well, why not? If you got the numbers, Sonics will continue to hold on to it as they trade out. A re-engage from Spiff as he toils with that door downstairs. Ambi picks up his third kill of the matchup. Down goes Spiff, it's all up to Bosco to hold down the fort. Bosco two and five, struggling in that support role to get on the board so far. Long history of boss goat clutches. It will Spiker in a good spot or a bad spot, depending on how you view perspective in this. A good spot it is, down goes Ambi, and now Spiker will head for the hills. Ambi having a very rough match at the moment. Rexon on the board, eliminating Spiff. 4v4, Spiker admittedly on very low HP. No real utility to play off of, though. That's the bigger issue. He's just going to be a gun, and by God, he makes it work on the Canadian. Down goes Surf as well. Grix are eliminating cans, and things have gone from bad to worse for Sonics. Trying to regain the lead. They held it early in the match, but it's been wild card seemingly all since then. Out of time. Rexon trying to pull off a plant, and he gets it started, but Bay ends it wild card. Rexon at this point over the last couple rounds has pulled ahead in terms of the kills department and he is battling down his former teammate as Kanzen was once a member of the Sonics not Attack too long ago. Bosco sees the shield of Canadian. Rexon's patience wears off. Kanzen outfoxed in that position. Now it's Bosco and Spiker to deal with the eventual blitz. But guess what? That fire went out exactly 20 seconds. Canadian will have to take some damage. 
Slowed down by the Banshee. Spiker swinging up. Catches Ambi off guard. And now going through the rotate, but he struggles to pull out his shotgun. It's all up to Bosco with the TCSG in hand. And the Blitz will just assume the position, allowing Rexon to... Yeah, don't forget as well, last time they were on Clubhouse, that was an 8-6 game, so there would be precedent. It's going to be blue, it's going to be dirt, and it's going to be opening pick for Rexon. And there go the smokes tossed out by Canadian Ambi as well, eliminating Spiff. Bay will follow Kansan and Bosco to hold this one down. Surf taking her of Kansan, and Bosco left in a very familiar position. But with the way he's been going this match, it's a familiar result. Bosco against the world, and Bosco just finds safety inside of the site with the exception of Kansan floating right now by construction. Nope, now back in by the door. Sonics have so much time, they have so much positioning, they have health advantage. I mean, everything that they could want right now, they have to put together the execute of their dreams, but that might put another problem into this execute bay. Two kills before this push comes out, and that's Surf dead now too. That's one of your best players. Kansan has to wonder about whether someone's coming construction or towards the window. Deployable shield is gone. Kansan will test his reflexes. Up against the ace of Rex and Canadian with one pick on to Bosco, former teammates, and be another. It's all up to Bay, who's been sensational in his tier one debut. But he's got three players to find. Canadian attempting the defuse plant on one HP, but Rexon will shut the door. Wildcard has no hopes of coming back.